You have attempted to contact me at an inopportune time. Record what you have to say, and I shall respond in due time. I have waited a thousand years for the answers I seek. Surely, you can wait a small fraction of that time for yours. Cactus. 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 I am playing games. Cactus. 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 Am I supposed to be doing this? Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my balls. Cactus. 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 This is going to be a fuck job to edit. Cactus. 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 You're calling me a hobo. Cactus. 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 Boy, the retarded boy! Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You blowing smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 You think a tracer can stop me? <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Roy and you're listening to the Snowplow Show for September 4th, 2015. Today's show is sponsored by Reefer Badness, the guy known by most of you for writing that amazing Go Cup song remix whatever thing. So thanks Reefer Badness for supporting the show and making cool music for us. If you would like to hear the music of Reefer Badness, I will link his name in the show notes so you can listen to the Go Cup song and probably download it and whatever else you want to do. I have an update that I should have updated on the last show, but I completely forgot to. But I got an email from the guy who sent me the information from his uh, band, you know, flying on a plane to New Orleans from D.C. or something like that. He took some screen captures of some Facebook posts by those people, and they are complaining about me. And Voltaire says, I have no idea why they feel like they're innocent, because they were complete animals on the plane ride. So the original post is by someone named Leslie. I don't remember which call she was in. You guys probably do, though. But it says, Hi, parents. Some of us have received phone calls from a phone number, and it has the phone number that I called from, which, by the way, was a phone number that was just one digit off from just some random person on that list. So hopefully they're looking at that person suspiciously. But she says they were confronting us about being rude on a flight from New Orleans. This kid slash person actually called my husband a motherfucker. I'm assuming... Oh, and she had to censor out the the F word, of course, because we can't have adults reading the F word. I'm assuming it's someone who has found the shared phone list as other parents on the trip have received the same types of calls. Just an FYI to the person who owns this number. Wait, what? I don't know. I think that's a threat or something. And then a girl named Lori, she commented on it. She says, three out of the four of us got called too. This is sad. We share our phone numbers for safety reasons, and then we get prank calls. Shame. Another female says, I haven't received a call yet. Did you look up the phone number or call them back? They aren't very wise, pranking with an unblocked number. Leslie says, yes, I did look it up. I have not called back. Another person says she hasn't heard anything, but she will be aware. And then there's another screenshot. Kathy wants anyone who received calls to call your carrier and report it. Leslie says she may. It appears to be a sprint line, and we are looking up the owner currently. Oh, crap. Someone named Susan says, I got a call also. And then Leslie says, I know, Susan, your daughter blamed Rich. And blah, blah, blah. Someone says, um, blank. I don't know if I should say his name or not. Also got a call from... Delta saying there was a security footage of M smoking pot in the restroom and my call said Mr. Blank was caught smoking pot in the restroom and I was reported to have called a stewardess a XXX not words in my vocabulary apparently they are in your vocabulary because you knew to X them out and then there's Lori she's speculating about the person's name on the phone account And I haven't heard anything since then. This was three days ago that I received this email. So I guess nothing really hilarious has happened with it. But thanks, Voltaire, for the update. I appreciate it. It's always fun to see a bunch of people freaking out about a few phone calls. This episode is going to be a good show, and we can thank Reefer Badness for that because he's the sponsor. I know it's going to be a good show because I have already done it. I did it earlier this morning. It was a live show. I went on the air, and the people in the chat room kind of helped me out with ideas and stuff. So thank you very much, chat room. I used a lot of ideas without being able to give credit. You know, like as the calls go on, they throw ideas into the room and and that's when you hear me say weird random things. So thank you very much, PCN chat room at prankcallnation.com slash chat. 
for the ideas. There were some fun calls today, and uh, I think this was a two-hour show, and I don't think a whole lot's going to get edited off of it, but we'll see. Anyway, here it goes. Here is the live show from earlier today. Okay, I think everything's ready. I'm going to do carding calls today, because I have a lot of messages waiting A lot of people waiting to be called back for their cardings. Hopefully they're not all fake. Yesterday there were a lot of fakes. You know, just you people trying to trick me. Hi Roy, uh, this is the owner of the Green Blazer. You left me a little note that you had dinged it. I looked it over and I can't... Oh, oh, a little note, a little note, okay. ...see anything, so uh, don't worry about it. (laughs) But it was very thoughtful of you to leave the note. Okay, have a good day. Listen to this bitch. Oh, God. I just want to slap her. All right, so I guess we're going to call that lady. She's in Michigan. I've been getting a lot of a lot of uh, carding notes in Michigan. I've been getting them everywhere though. There's there's a lot of lot of voicemails here. Okay, so what am I going to say to that lady? Here goes. I'm calling her. I just yell at her about her attitude problem maybe. Little note. Hello. Hi, this is Roy. I hit your car earlier. Oh, yeah. And, um, I mean, I don't know what's with the message. What's with your attitude? Oh, I just said I couldn't see any damage. And you called it a little note? Like, are you just making fun of the size of the note? No. I mean, you're just, you're being uh, such such a jerk what? in that message. I don't get I, it. I don't, I, no, you, I, was, I said I was thoughtful of you to leave it. I looked at my car. I didn't see any damage, well, so I was you, just telling you that. When you said it was thoughtful, you sounded so sarcastic. And, oh, well, I'm sorry. And, I certainly didn't mean it oh, that way. Oh, you should be. But I, I don't get it. I mean, I was trying to do the right thing, and here you are coming off with an attitude. Well, I'm, if you, I certainly didn't mean it that way. I just, uh, you left it. As I said, I, I looked around. I didn't see anything, and I thought, well, I just want to let him know that there isn't anything. You know, it's, that's it. Well, it's on the <laughs> I top. I didn't mean it. I'm, sure, I'm sorry that you took it that way. Oh, oh, you're sorry that I took it that way. That's a backhanded well, apology. Well, I'm sorry if I said, I'm, I don't know what you want me to say. I didn't. I'm. I, I feel you did. You did a uh, thoughtful thing by leaving the note. If you d- did it, and I thought I was being thoughtful by letting you know that it wasn't big. It wasn't anything. And I feel threatened. That was it. I feel threatened by this voicemail. Really, I'm. I'm about to call the police and say this lady's threatening me. And Are you we'll serious? Let them hear the message, and they'll be like, "Oh my God, you're right." I can't believe that you're saying that. Really, I mean, God, get my who, phone number. Who do you think you are? You know. Ma'am? I, 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 the well, person anyway, who uh, thought uh-huh. I was calling and just leaving you a little pleasant message and saying it was nothing, so that's it. <sighs> Whatever. Well, anyway, the ding is on the top of the car. The top of the car? Yes, on the roof. Oh. Yes. How'd you get a ding on the top of the car? I was wearing my, my golf cleats. They have little spikes on the bottom of them, you know? Mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting... Oh, I didn't look... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, my car seems to be fine. Okay, except you didn't look on the top of it, though. No, I didn't look on the top, but I'm I'm sure it's fine. Okay, yeah, there's like a... There's shoe-sized... There's footprints up there, but there's they're like little dots all over because they're golf cleats. Well, I'm, you're probably going to take this the wrong way, but what was, what were you doing on the top of my car? Oh, it's none of your business. Don't worry about it. I was, I was... One thing led to another, and I was up there. You know, things happen. Apparently. Yep. Well, I I don't. You, you seem to be making a lot more out of this than it than it was. And um, well, you're the one leaving threatening messages at me. What did I say in the message? You called my that note. You called my note little for one thing, and then you were like really sarcastic when you said it was nice of me or whatever. I don't know why you would take it if somebody said you had done something thoughtful that it was sarcastic. Oh, listen to the way you're saying it. Like you're practically yelling at me right now. No, I'm not practically yelling at you, and I don't really. You don't really. I don't. I don't even know really what where you're going with this. Okay, well, I was practicing how to fly from the top of your car. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And it didn't work. I was wearing okay. the golf cleats for safety. Okay. I was trying to throw myself at the ground and miss. That's how you fly. Mm. But I I didn't succeed. 
Hmm. I'm very sorry. Well, well, that's 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 fine. I just uh, even though you had to turn this around and and just you know just be a big jerk about it. I'm still, I said I'm a little st- note because it wasn't a long two page note or something, which naturally it wouldn't have been. I'm it still sorry. A, it was a, even though you're yelling at me, I'm sorry. Okay, well. So, anyway, okay, goodbye. I wasn't really on your car. Okay, she's gone. All right, I made that nice lady sad, so mission accomplished, right? I guess. These are coming in nonstop. Well, not nonstop, but 37 minutes ago. There's like three that are from two hours ago. Like, just throughout the day, constantly, carding messages. Hi, Roy. Uh, this is the owner of the Green Blazer. You left me a little note that you... Oh, had- a little note. Okay. I already played her. <laughs> oh, her attitude. Next is Pennsylvania. Good morning, Roy. This is the guy that owns a silver Mitsubishi. Thanks for leaving your note. Uh, you can give me a call back. I'm 717-32. My name is Peppy. Again, thanks for leaving the note. Bye-bye. So people have left comments on the show page and, and and the YouTubes and wherever, you know, with their own carding ideas. Okay, there, my notes are loaded. So I was thinking I could open up the page and steal some ideas. Uh, like Ben, he says, I'm a schizo and I thought I saw a baby in their car and I attempted to break the window to get it out. Wouldn't they see the window broken, though? Okay, so that guy that just left a message two hours ago. Let's give him a call. Hello. Hey, this is Roy. Is this Pepe? Yeah, this is Pepe. How are you doing? Thanks for the note, boss. Oh, you're welcome, Chief. So, uh, I I can't... What color car do you have? Do you have, like, a a light blue car? No, I don't even have a car. Um, Actually, I was walking by, and I was throwing the Frisbee for my dog. And I threw the frisbee right at your oh. car really hard, and the car, the dog jumped up on top of it. I can't even tell, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, he pooped on the hood, and I wiped it off. But he also, oh, okay. you know, I haven't trimmed his claws in a long time, and those were, you know, those scratched up the hood and on top of the car and everything. That's that's a non-issue. Yeah, and then I, then I took the frisbee and I just started, I just winged it at your car really hard while the dog was still on it. It's like All right. right at the windshield, but we'll it's pl- it's plastic. You know, it's a plastic frisbee, so it didn't even hurt it. Well, the car's plastic too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, no, but thanks for the note. Everything's okay. You're square. Yeah. And then I got pissed at the dog because the dog wouldn't get down. I just started kicking the shit out of the side of your car. Started kicking the door. <laughs> it's pissing me the fuck oh. off because he wouldn't get down. Well, you gotta work with him. Yeah, yeah, I got to. <laughs> so, we're fine. I appreciate your, your note and your call. But I think I'm going to take the dog to uh, obedience classes. Uh-huh. And I think you're kind of responsible for some of the, you know, the tuition. Because it happened on your car. Yeah. Well, it it could be worse. He could run out. He, he could get hit. I get hurt, you know? Yeah. So, but I don't care about that. I mean, he was, was he was pissing me the fuck off by not coming down off of your car. And I had to climb up on top of your car and get him, and I was wearing golf cleats. We're okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you have insurance? Yes. Okay. Because I cool. broke, I sprained my ankle when I jumped down. Uh-huh. And I don't know. I'm going to need your insurance information. Oh, hell no. Oh no! It, you hit my car. You hit my car. To get your dog on my car, and you're gonna put a claim on me for jumping off it. You're in a pig's eye. Well, it, it's your fault. You I'll, shouldn't buy, ha- I'll, I'll, I'll buy what happened to my car. You buy what happened to your. What do you mean it's my fault? I'm parked. You shouldn't have such I a wasn't tall doing car. Anything. You should. You, you're one of those people that buys those really oversized cars, and it's bullshit. And, it's and a little Mitsubishi Eclipse, dude. It's th- th- a matchbox. It's basically a, a, an SUV, and thanks to you, I, no, I sprained my ankle jumping what off. Car, what car are you looking at? Yours, that Mitsubishi piece of crap. My car, my, my car, car could fit in a mailbox. 
Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> that is not true. You're exaggerating. I gotta I think. go, dude. I gotta go, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the cops now, and we're gonna get this squared don't away. Don't call you. the cops. No, don't call the cops. You're I, talking I, about putting a claim in on me because you fucked up my car, and you, you, who the fuck do you think you're talking to, dude? Don't call the cops. I have later, a, I, ha- I have a, I have a warrant. Okay. That's not my problem. Well, I don't need, I don't need, any, I don't need the cops around. Okay. I don't need your bullshit. See you. Thanks for your note. Hey, go. hey, motherfucker. Hey. Oh no. I am really surprised he got pissed. I didn't think he's going to get pissed. That was an idea from Ben. Ben on the the website posted that. And I did it. And he posted a bunch of ideas. At least I didn't make him sad like the last lady. (laughs) That last lady, she probably went in and bought some ice cream or something because she's so sad. I made her sad. Uh, Hey, Roy. uh, My name is Nick. Uh, I saw your note in the back of my girlfriend's car and... uh... (sighs) Uh, I looked around. I saw a minor scratch on her uh, left fender, like a if you know what I mean. That thing. So, um, give me a call at your convenience. My number's uh, two four eight, and uh, my name is Nick again. Thanks. His girlfriend. He's got to rub it in that he has a girlfriend. He just has to prove to the world, like, look, everyone, look at me. I've got a girlfriend. Who does he think he is? So this one is from two hours ago. So chat room, really, what should I say? I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I can look through this list again of Ben ideas, Ben and Boggy B ideas. No BK Master, that's a stupid idea, and I hate it. This isn't Friday Night Cranks. Zing. Totally zinged them, didn't I? I want to at least be up to KDK standards. Nick speaking. Hi, Nick. Yes. It's Roy. I left a note on your car. Yes. Yes. I, I'm very yeah. sorry about that, about what happened. So what happened, actually? Well, it was it was in the back seat where the Nick was. The the uh, I'm sorry, not the Nick, the Ding. Okay, well, I, I looked around the car. I saw something out front, nothing that major and stuff happens. Yeah, yeah. It was just, I was in the back seat of your car when it happened you were in the back seat yeah and um kind of my fingernails kind of scraped around on the seat on the seat and it it left a mark it really did i'm i'm so sorry i mean it's not a rip or anything it's just kind of a mark and i think you could get some touch-up leather stuff or whatever okay so how are you in the back of the car oh i was um i was having sex with your girlfriend and I was, oh, okay. I was scratching I her, I was scratching her back and my finger just kind of kept going and scratched the seat up real good. Oh, that is very mature. You guys are really, really beautiful people. What, what, what guys, me and your girlfriend? All of you, all of you fucking assholes. <laughs> what, what do you mean all of us? Now there's all of us. What do you, what are you talking whoever, about? Whoever, whoever is uh, putting this in play. Yeah. Very nice. What do you mean by you people? Are you racist? Racist? Are you a different race, Roy? The or sound? you're the asshole race? Oh, okay. So, so now you're yeah, all now, of now, you that you're that you're trying to that you're trying to do all of this bullshit. Now you're going to be like that toward my people. I see how it is. Who are your people? I don't even know who you are. Th- there's not all I'm of talking, us. There's not three. I'm it's talking just... to you and your friends. What friends? I'm just, I just, it was just me and your girlfriend and that's it. Okay. Thank you. In the back I'll, seat of that car. I'll fix that scratch. Okay. Thank you very much. And, um, you know, yeah. tell your girlfriend to call me. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. That's not nice. You're just, <laughs> what a racist. What was he talking about? I don't get that at all. That was, uh, Stephen Insanity's idea. To, to talk about his girlfriend like that. Thank you, Steve Insanity. Steven Insanity, whatever your name is. Your dumb name. Okay, next is Corbin, Kentucky. Hey, Roy, this is Michael. Uh, I gave you a call yesterday about a note that I found on my bike about you dinging it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, evidently, you're not wanting to return my phone calls or something, but... I already went and got a police report out on it, so oh, shit. if you don't mind, just give me a call back whenever you get this. 
My number is 606. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. I want to quickly scroll through here and see what his other message says. So give me just a minute. Ah, this must be it. Yeah, I just now got your note. It was on my bike. Um, if you're still at Walmart or something, I'd really appreciate it if you Walmart. come on out front and maybe we could discuss this. If not, call me back at 606. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to call that guy. And, and I'm assuming it's a, a motorcycle and not a Schwinn or something. Llama wants me to say I use their car battery to light my cigarette. Okay. Hello? Oh, hey, this is Roy. Uh, I I dinged your bike yesterday. Oh, yes. Hey, Roy. How are you doing today? Not too bad. How are you? Um, can't complain. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, so, so what exactly happened? I mean, I, I come out of Walmart, and there was a note on the bike that said, uh, sorry, I dinged your car. Yeah, sorry I called it a car. I didn't mean to call it a car. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Uh, so... I mean, was you sitting on it, or I oh, mean, what, I pulled, did you turn it over? What exactly I pulled a, was going on? I pulled the spark plug off because I was trying to light my cigarette with it. Pulled and, the spark plug off. Yeah, and um, I was trying to light my cigarette with it, and you know, I, it just it took a while, and I was getting frustrated, and I, I kind of my my watch kind of scraped along the side of it and scratched it up a little bit, and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, hold up! You you, uh, you you scratched it. Do you, where exactly did you scratch it at? Uh, just kind of along the side by the engine part machine. Because yeah, I was holding the spark plug in one hand and my cigarette in the other, and you know I was, I was trying to get it started. Okay. Well, um, I mean, I noticed it was a Washington number. Are you? I mean, are you down? And Corbin, right now, or yeah, yeah, I live I mean, here. I on? live here now. I moved here from Washington three years ago, but I just kept my number. Okay. Um, well, are you are you close to Walmart or anything? I mean, we could we could meet up somewhere. Oh, what for? I mean, I I could just get your insurance information over the phone. Well, I mean, you, I would be needing to get your insurance information. I've already went and got the police report and everything. Okay. Well, I want to get yours too because it scratched up my watch, and this is an Apple Watch. I paid $400 for Apple this. Apple what? Yeah. Junk? It's an iWatch. Yeah, I wish I could afford that. Well, well, um, well it's not you. It's going to be your you insurance want- company that pays. Okay. Well, you, I mean, you know, you, you want to meet up somewhere? Um, no, not really. Just give it to me over the phone. Nah, I, I don't feel comfortable giving personal information out like that. Oh, oh, you're going to be like that. You're like a, an insurance fraudster. I see how it is. Oh, yeah, 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 you know, just in case, you know, whatever. Yeah. I mean, we can meet up somewhere. Well, the good news is I got my cigarette lit. It actually worked. I felt like such a goddamn MacGyver when I did that. I bet you felt like a pure fucking idiot, too, didn't you, whenever you messing with somebody else's bike? No, because I got my cigarette lit. I couldn't get a light from anyone on the street. Everyone's claiming they don't have a light. Like, bullshit. So I just walked over and used your, your spark plugs. Yeah. Got the bike started. Yeah, well, I, sparked you know, my cigarette I, I, I and it worked. Kind of bullshit if you want to come up and fuck with my bike. I wasn't fucking with your bike. I was lighting my cigarette. You was lighting your cigarette on my bike. Are, are you some kind and of you anti scratched, anti you smoker? It, so you said, you what? You, you're some kind of anti smoker. You think I shouldn't be allowed to yes, smoke I or am something? Anti smoker. I mean, whenever you pollute the airways and everything else, the airwaves. I'm polluting the airwaves with my cigarette. You, you want to light a cigarette off of my bike? Well, well, thank I'm you, like, thank you for <laughs> contributing to the airwaves being polluted with your bike. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're, you're just, you just, you're just jealous because let you know I, you, I lit my let cigarette. Me you drive a Prius too? Oh, I don't drive anything because you know I care about the earth. I, I don't I drive around don't. a gas guzzler like your stupid bike. Hey, that bike ain't no stupid gas guzzler. Oh yes, it is. Oh no, it ain't. Anyway, so, uh, what yeah. we're going to do about the about the scratch? You're I mean, just, where exactly did you scratch it at? You're just jealous because you've never lit a cigarette like that. Yeah, I mean, damn! I wish I was that good, MacGyver, that shit right off of somebody else's bike. That's right. And I wasn't fucking with your bike. I was just lighting my cigarette. I don't know why you're making such a big deal well, about you, it. Evidently, you were fucking with my bike because I mean, you you put a damn scratch. So you said across it. You didn't even see the scratch. 
And then, and then, Evidently not. And I, I guess I need to go out there and look. Yeah, and, and then you wouldn't file a police report just like a pussy would. Oh, yeah, just like a pussy. You know what? Fuck you. A oh. fucking pussy. Oh, you Why know what? Maybe somewhere, motherfucker. Oh, let's meet at the let's Walmart. Maybe somewhere. Let, let's meet right you know where what? you parked. Oh, let's go do it. All right. Let's go fucking do it. How, how soon can I you be there? I'm down. How soon do can what? you be there? Oh, I can be there in two seconds. Oh, I doubt that. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm just right down the road from it. Well, so am I. I'll meet you there. Well, by God, come on. I don't think you'll even I show put up. I'll a fucking pump knot on your head big enough to latch a bass boat to. Oh, I, I'm recording this call, and I just got you threatening me. Well, well, that's great. I don't give you permission to record my fucking call. I'm doing it anyway, because I'm a rebel. Well, I don't give a swine I'm fuck. smoking a well, cigarette right you. now. I can do whatever I want. Good for you. No threats on the air. It's a, it's against PC and rules. Yeah, I don't give a flying fuck what against whatever. No threats on the airwaves, on the polluted airwaves. Well, that's good. Towards the fucking airwaves. That's, that's, that's great, man. When I, when I show up, what? when I show up, I'm going to be smoking a cigarette and I'm going to blow the smoke in your face. Well, that's good because as soon as you start blowing smoke in my face, I'm going to blow my foot up your ass. That doesn't make sense. Well, it, it will make sense whenever my foot goes in your ass. Oh, uh, that's great. So you're into the gay stuff then? Oh, yeah, you know it. You like putting things in men's asses? Oh, yeah. Just like I love... I lo- just make me on down here at Walmart. Just like you what? Do, finish the sentence, please. Yeah, yeah, just just make me down at Walmart, and I'll finish the sentence there. I'll be there in five minutes. Well, good. Same parking spot. And where was that at? Oh, you know where it was. Well, I mean, evidently, you know, I, my bike was parked right there, so... Is evidently your favorite word? Is that your is that your only evidently. two dollar? <laughs> that's your only two dollar word. Evidently, yeah, because I guess I'm I, I'm such a retard. Yeah, no, no, it's a, it's a good word. I, I I think it's great that you use it constantly. Well, that that's great. Okay, well I'll see you in five minutes. I'll be riding my skateboard. Well, you know what? All right, get ready to get an ass whooping then. Smoking a cigarette, riding my skateboard. Good deal. Good deal. I'll be drinking a beer too whenever I get you. Oh no, you won't. There. You don't drink beer. Oh, yes, I will. You're too much oh, of a yes, pussy to drink beer. <laughs> yeah, I, I drink that near beer shit. You probably drink non-alcoholic beer. Right. Like Rappy McRapperson. Who's oh, Rappy McRapperson? That's right. Is that some kind of black rapper dude? Yeah, he's very black. <laughs> okay, well, good for him. Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck you, too. No, fuck you. Asshole. No, fuck you. All right, I'll see you in... And the fucking horse that you came riding in on. Five minutes. I'll see you in five minutes. All right. Five minutes. You're yeah. not even, even going to show up. down here and I'm going to whoop your fucking ass. Yeah, you're not even going to show up. Understand me? Do what? Do what now? Oh, I'll, I'll fucking show up. You you just come on down here. I'll, I'll be on my damn bike. I'm you on my way. Ding, or whatever the fuck it was you done. Hey, when, when I get there, I, I, can you give me a light? Oh, yeah, here, I, I'll even pop my fucking sport plug out that way. You can light your damn cigarette off of that, Good. and whenever I do that, I'll be stomping your fucking teeth in your throat. It'll be a lot easier, you know, if, if you have the key and you can start yeah, it yeah, up for I, me. Yeah, I bet it fucking will, asshole. It was really hard to get your bike started without the key, but I did it. Oh, I guarantee it. Well, I, like I said, I just come on down here, asshole. Just I'm on the on way. fucking down here and make me on down there. You're not even going to be there, but I'm going to be there. Oh, I, I about guarantee it, motherfucker. Come on down here, and I'll whoop your ass. Got it? No, oh, We'll see about that. No, he hung up. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Let me put a note on this one. Meeting. Oh, wait, crap. I screwed up. Meeting me at Walmart. So we'll give that guy a call back in like 10 minutes and ask him where he is. All right, I'm going to skip the latest one that just came in. Here's one from 15 hours ago. Hi, Roy. You left a note on my car. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to get this or mind me, but, um, just let me know. Thank you. Bye. You're not sure if what? I really, I'm not sure if you're going to get this or mind me, but, um, just let me know. Thank you. Bye. Nom, 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 nom. I don't know what he said. I think Dino Alsman, he used to use the word evidently all the time too. That was his word. It's a redneck thing. That's a good one, lunch lady. <laughs> You have attempted to contact me at an inopportune time. Record what you have to say, and I shall respond in due time. I have waited a thousand years for the answers I seek. Surely, 
you can wait a small fraction of that time for yours. At the tone, <laughs> please record your... This guy, is this fake? I'm starting to think this one's fake. Anyone with a voicemail like that is just fucking with me. Hi, you're the one that hit my car. You need to call me back as soon as possible. Goodbye. <laughs> she, sounded, she sounded drunk. All right, this one is South Carolina. I love pranking people in South Carolina. Hello. Hi, this is Roy. I left a note on your car yesterday. Yes. And yeah, I'm just returning your call. Sorry I wasn't around when you called. No, you're perfectly fine. Um, are you available anytime Monday? For what? To meet at Campus Police. Oh, oh no, no, I can't. I, I'm, I, I can't visit with the police. No, this is just an insurance thing. I can just give you my insurance information. The only way to handle it is through the police. What? Well, what are you talking about? Why would you call the police? Because that's the only way that you're supposed to handle it. We didn't know what to do. Oh no, you're stupid. No, you're just supposed to exchange insur- insurance information when it's just a minor thing. It's not like well, I. Well, you're you're very rude. So the only way that we're going to handle this is through the police. Well, how was I rude? I left a note. That's the we right. Just, thing. You just called me stupid. Oh, no. I was just saying that because you're being stupid. Because you're not supposed to call the police just for a minor. You're still thing. calling me stupid. So the only way that we'll handle this is to uh, meet at campus police. Oh, well, maybe I'll just hang up and never, yeah. never call back. That's up to you. Okay. <laughs> we were not, my car was not at fault. Oh, I didn't say it was. No, I, I was going to give you my insurance information, but apparently you don't want me to. Your note implied that it would be our, my fault because of the parking job. No, no, I wasn't saying that. Um, but, you know, you did park really Your stupidly. note was extremely rude. What did and the- it implied that so you can get your money is what you said on your note. Did I write that? I was really drunk when I hit your car. Yeah, you said that the parking job was extremely bad and that you, that I hope I enjoy my dent and that you want to, me to call you so you can get your insurance money. Maybe you should just ride the bus because you're a woman. The only way we're going to handle this is to go to campus police if you want to. Okay. Well, it was, it was barely even my fault. He left cause... you, he also left you a message on your phone. Oh, I heard that. He, he sounded really unprofessional, so I just deleted that message. Well, that's the only way to handle it. Okay, all right. I mean, the only way to handle it really is to just for me to give you my insurance information. Well, if you weren't so rude, then I, you know, would, but... Well, you're the one being rude, calling the police over nothing. How? I'm not... No, how is being rude? Because it's ex- they're trying to figure out a situation for a note that was left on the car. Yeah, but then you had to just. I, I was just gonna. You, you know, you're not supposed to call the police over something little like this. If you don't know what to do, yeah, you are. Well, you should learn what to do. Learn how to drive. Stop being such a woman driver. Obviously, obviously, you need to learn how to drive if you're the one that hit my car with a parking spot that's not even near it. It wasn't even my fault because I was drunk. It was the alcohol driving. That is your fault then because you're driving under the influence. No, because it's not me. It's it's like I'm a different person when I'm drinking, so it's not even me. That is you. It is not. Either do you not, Either way, do you not the drink? only way to handle this is to go through the... I do drink, thank you very much, but the only way to handle this is to go to campus sleep. You were probably drunk when you parked like that. No. I was at work. You shouldn't be drinking at work. You shouldn't be showing up at work drunk. I wasn't. You're implying... I. The only way to handle this is to go to campus police. You can go Monday. I don't want to go Monday. I'm busy on Monday. Then you can go Tuesday. Well, I don't really want to now because you're just being a jerk about the whole thing. How am I being a jerk about it? You're Either way, you can meet Tuesday at campus police so we can handle this. How How long did you get driving lessons for before you got your license? 
why are you being so rude? Well, I don't know. I'm just wondering, like, do you even know how to drive? Because, like, the way you were just parked. Just need to get this police sometime Tuesday, okay? Were you just in a hurry to park, so you just didn't feel like Goodbye. pulling into the space all the way? Oh. But what was even wrong with her car? Okay, I gotta call her back. I, I'm... <laughs> The only way I will talk to you is if you go to campus police okay. on Tuesday. Well, I just have to ask one quick thing. Um, did you see damage on the car? Um, the only way I will talk to you is if you'll go to campus police. Okay, you won't answer that one. Uh, the other question I have is, will you have sex with me? Because I didn't... I, okay, here's the thing. I didn't really hit your car. I just thought you looked cute, so I put my phone number on your car so you'd call me because I wanted your number. This is how I get girls' numbers. I, I don't even have a car. You need to find a new way. Okay, well, I, I, that. I don't even have a car. So if if you're claiming that there's damage, you're a big liar because I didn't hit your car. Nope. I just come to campus police and we'll get it all sorted out. Oh, no, I don't even have a car. I don't have insurance. I don't have anything. So there's, there's nothing to call the police about because nothing happened. I just walked up to your car and put a note on there. Well, then call them. Call, call the officer that called you. And to let him know. Well, what were you trying to do? An insurance scam? Did you see? Were you no, pre- I'm not trying to do an. Go to t- go to campus place on Tuesday and get it figured out. Well, the, the question Goodbye. I have, I want to have sex with you. Do you want to go out with me? Oh, damn it! George wants me to say I am from campus police. <laughs> I should call back as a different number and just be hello. This is campus police because it's always a good idea to impersonate the police, right? I should definitely do that. So I guess it's time to call Walmart guy back. Um, I don't really want to talk to him for a long time. So should I just let him in on the joke? Michael. Is his name Michael? Hey, Roy. This is Michael. Uh- no, it's Mockle. Not Michael. Mockle. Uh, so, yeah. What am I saying to this guy? Should I just come clean? I hate that everyone's calling the police over this. Your call has been forwarded oh. to an automatic voice message system. Six zero. Straight to voicemail. Your call has been forwarded to an auto- <laughs> what, what happened? Is battery run down? Your call has been forwarded to Shit. an automatic voice message system. Six zero six three. I guess I'll leave a message for him. It's not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Mockle. I, I see that not only did you do not show up at Walmart to meet me, but you shut off your phone because you're so scared. Because you're, you're a pussy. No, actually, I'm just kidding. My name is Roy. I'm uh, the producer for the Skippy and Dippy Wacky Morning Radio Show. And we didn't really hit your car. Uh, we just put the note on there so that we could call you and, you know, just make you angry and stuff. So I'm calling to find out if I can get your permission to air this on the radio show in the morning on 100.3 FM. So if you could give me a call back, please, I just need to get, um, get you to sign a release form so that we can air the phone call that I made to you earlier that I was recording that you gave me permission to record, by the way, and we can air that and make fun of you and laugh at you and stuff on the air. So uh, I hope you can get back to me tonight so we can play this tomorrow morning. Our show airs from 6 to 10 a.m. All right, thank you, Mockle. Bye. Let me try one more time, just just in case. Oh, now it's ringing. Oh, damn it! Now I gotta repeat all that. I don't want. Hello. Hey, hey, I, I'm I'm hey. I'm watching you right now from across the parking lot. I'm, are you good? I'm admiring good. your Where muscular. You? I'm admiring your muscular build. Oh, are you? Where the hell are you? Oh, I'm I'm watching you from far away. Well, why don't you come on down here? And there's nothing Instead you... Instead of admiring me like a queer. Oh, no. This is... T- I, I'm really getting off just watching you from this far away. Uh, oh, I, I, I about guarantee you. know, where, where are you at? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm in the parking lot. I can see you. Wave. Well, good. Well, well, come on, well, come on over. Wave to me. Well, where the fuck are you? W- wave. Turn around and wave. Uh, I'm waving. Turn the other way. Hey, hey, slap your ass for me. Do it. Come on. Just do it. Slap my ass? Yeah, do it one time. Why won't you come down here so I can slap your face? (laughs) No, no. Just slap your ass. It's okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, here, here. Let me talk like this right here with that. That worked too, you motherfucking faggot. Won't you get your ass down here? (laughs) Oh, no. You're a homophobe. That's terrible. Hey, um. Oh, yeah. Do you want to. 
Do you want to meet over at Subway? And uh, I'll give you a foot long, if you know what I mean. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Why don't you come on down here? No, no, let's meet at Subway instead. No, 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 no. Why don't you make me fucking down here, asshole? No, no, I'm just going to watch from far away, okay? Well, well, good. I'm going to start searching every fucking car in this damn vehicle, every fucking car in the damn oh, parking lot. I'll, when I see you coming close, I'll just, I'll duck behind the cars and I'll just start sneaking around and I'll, I'll, you know. Well, that, that's great. You'll never find well, me. come on down here. I, well, come on over here, motherfucker. I, I dare you to search every car. I dare, I dare you to come step right here in front of me, motherfucker. Oh, come no, on. No, I'm enjoying the view. I'm, invo- I'm enjoying the view from over here. I guarantee you, you are, you damn faggot. Well, now, won't you come on over here in front of me? Come front of you? No, no, no. This is good. Yeah, I'm good where I am. Come in front of me, right here, right here. Come stand right here in front of me, motherfucker. No, no. And you, we'll step toe to toe, asshole. You, you come over here. Let's play hide and seek. It'll be fun. All right. So, um. Yeah, I, I hide my foot up your ass, and you try to seek it. How's that one? Oh, uh, there you go with the gay stuff again. Yeah. Well, come on down here, motherfucker. No, no. Look, I'm it, and and you're you're finding me. So, uh, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go, my ass. Won't you just come on over here, you fucking pussy? Is that there what it is? Are you afraid of me? No, Are no. Are you fucking just, chicken shit? It's just really, I'm enjoying the view from where I am. No, you're a fucking chicken shit little punk ass bitch. No, just come on. I don't want to fucking step up to somebody. Come over here where I am. I'll whistle. I'll, I'll keep whistling, and you find me by the whistle. Okay, you, okay? you whistle. You, you whistle, motherfucker. All come right. on, whistle. I, I whistle really quietly, though. Okay, well, just whistle loud enough for me to fucking hear you so I okay. can find your ass and beat the fuck out of you. Okay, it. hold on. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to whistle across the parking lot. You'll okay. hear me, okay? You, you fucking whistle. Here okay, goes. whistle. Here it goes. A little bit fucking louder, asshole. No, no, that's as loud as Come I can on. go. No, 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 <laughs> did you, no. Did you Come hear on, me? Just, just a little bit louder, asshole. I didn't hear fucking shit, you little fucking pussy. No, you, you heard it, didn't you? No, I didn't hear shit, you fucking pussy. Like I said, wh- whistle a little bit louder. Let, let me fucking hear you. Okay. Let me fucking okay. find All right. you. Here goes. <laughs> there we go. I'm still Did- not finding you. Won't you, uh, won't you holler something? Ah, uh, no, no. Just just come over and find yeah, me, okay? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Fun. It, yeah, won't, won't you just holler? I won't you just fucking holler, asshole? It'll be an awesome... I'll fucking it's... find you, and I'm going to beat the fucking hell out of you. Hey, I left you a voicemail, because you were being a pussy and not answering earlier. Make sure you listen to that voicemail, oh, that, that, okay? that's great. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll fucking listen to it, you motherfucker. <laughs> All right, as soon as we hang won't up... You, won't you step on over here? Yeah, okay. okay. Won't you come over here? I'm, I'm going to sneak over you there. You know where I'm at? I'm going to sneak over after we'll, we hang we'll up. come up. But I, well, come on, sneak on over here, I motherfucker. Need, I, I need to hang up so I can sneak more efficiently. No, fuck you. That way you could. That way I can hear you fucking coming. Keep no, fucking no. talking, little bit. No, I don't want that. You, you should oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just come across the parking lot. You you, you'll the find wrong me guy, eventually, motherfucker. That's all I got to say. You fucked with the wrong motherfucking guy. Oh really? Why, why is that? What are you gonna do? Because whenever I find you, I'm gonna fucking tear you from fucking limb to limb. Oh no, I don't want that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you sound like a little fucking bitch. I am not. You take that back. Oh, yes, you are. Are you a fucking scared little bitch? No, I'm not. Exactly I'm just I'm just really are. enjoying the view from over here, from across the parking lot. Uh, yeah, well, come on over here. That way I can enjoy the view. Can you honk your uh, your horn on your bike? Now you want me to honk my horn on my bike? You know what the fuck I'm at? Well, just do it. You're sitting there evidently fucking watching me. Just do it. Just Beep, beep, motherfucker. No, come on. Just push How's the button. How's that one? What? Just just push the button. I want to see if it's louder than my whistle. Yeah, I, I know it's fucking louder than your whistle, you little fucking puss ass bitch, motherfucker. <laughs> Did you hear it that? Yeah, time? you blow like a damn faggot. <laughs> yep, yep, that's me. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know it's fucking you. All right, well, I'll see you when you get over here, okay? Well, you know what? Why don't you come on over here to me? Um, uh, we'll meet in the middle. It'll be romantic. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? You just come on over here. And I'll be sitting here on my fucking back waiting for you. No, no, make your way this way. I'm gonna sneak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna Fuck sneak. You. I'm gonna sneak up behind you. you, and I'm gonna do a piggyback thing, and I'm gonna give you a kiss on the neck. Well, well, I tell you what, you sneak up behind me, and I swear I'll fucking slam your ass quicker than a fucking dog can shit, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, that was pretty great. That was you a good one. Me? That, that was a good one. I like that. I, well, yeah, it's going to be a good one whenever I slam your fucking ass to you, little bitch. Oh, uh, there you go again. You with the asses. Yeah, me with the asses. All right, well, I got to go. You're a little fucking I, pussy ass motherfucker. I got to go so I can start sneak, well, well, sneaking you your way. Well, you come on way. down here. 
I'm going to start creeping well, your way. All right. Well, you come on down here, motherfucker, and I'll be sitting there waiting for you. It's going to take a while. Got it? I'm going to hide behind cars as I make my way toward you. Well, you, well, you come on down here because whenever I find you, I'm going to fucking reap you from limb to limb. Okay, honey baby. Okay, sweetheart. All right, bye. Motherfucker. Listen to your voicemail. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun. All right, I'm deleting him. Maybe he'll leave an angry message. You fucking radio people. Oh, by the way, that, that girl that said uh, campus police called me, they did call me. I did get that message, and he told me that he was going to be out of the office until Monday. But I just deleted that one. I would have called him back if he was going to be here today, and I could just call him right now. But but no, I deleted it. Because the only way we can handle this is by calling the campus police. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we're going to call one from Missouri. Hey Roy, uh, my name's John. You left a note on my car today saying you, you dinged it a little bit. Um, if you could give me a call back, I'm not actually sure where you hit me. I couldn't really tell. Um, but uh, yeah, if you can give me a call back, that would be great. I think. Bye. Okay. What can I say to that guy? Carbon Bra says this guy is a total chicken fucker. He sounds too young to troll. Is the problem? Oh, that's a good one, Dave. Big Dave. Evan. <laughs> I need to incorporate drones on, on my calls more. Hello. Hello, John? Yes. Hey, it's Roy. I left a note on your car. Ah, uh, yes. And um, Yeah, I'm really sorry uh, about the damage. Oh, it's all right. Uh, I, where, did you, uh, where did you hit the car? I couldn't really even tell. Um, there's these swirly scratch marks all over the top of the roof. Because I was flying my drone around, my quadcopter drone... And I, t- I, took, oh. I, t- I took off the safety things because those are for pussies. And uh, it landed on your car and the propellers just just scratched scratched the hell out of your roof. Did you look on the roof? I did not, no. It looks like a bunch uh, of crop circles. Okay, okay. And, um, it, and, it, and it damaged my drone really, my drone really bad because I, I took those guard things off. Yeah. Um, okay, well, um, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Um, I thought you'd, I thought you'd hit me with your car or something. Oh, no, I don't even own a car. Uh, if I owned a car, I wouldn't be able yeah. to afford quadcopters. I have like three quadcopters. Right. Yeah, but, um, this one's completely messed up because your car hit it. Gotcha. Yep. And then I got mad, like it landed on your car. It landed and then it fell off the roof after it did swirly uh, scratches all over the top of your car. What? And, what? Why? What was the reason that it that it hit the car? I mean, I didn't. I don't know. I think I think someone hit it with an electromagnetic pulse. Is my guess, but I'm I'm not totally sure about that because it had a good battery. But anyway, I got okay. I got really angry and I just started kicking the shit out of your bumper because. Because of the you know the damage to my drone. Okay, well, I my car was just parked in a parking lot. I mean, it's not really my fault that I was parked there. I know it just, just I, you're in the wrong yeah. place at the wrong time, you know. And I just got really angry and I just started kicking the shit out of your car. Okay, um, but I don't think that damaged it. Like I know I dented the back of it and everything, but I think those dents just popped right back out. Probably. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll. I mean, I'll take a look at. It. Do you have? I mean, do you have insurance or anything? It, well, not for a car. I just. I have. Um. Okay. I, I have renter's insurance. Right. Does That's that not work? Gonna help. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll just have to. I'll just have to contact my insurance on it. I couldn't tell anything on the bumper, but I'll take a look at the the roof and okay. see if I need to make if, a claim if, on it. If you look at the bumper, um. Like really close, hold your nose, okay? D- don't ask. Just hold. Say your, what? Just hold your nose if you look at the bumper really close. D- don't ask. Just hold your nose, okay? And I'm I'm sorry about that too. Did you do something to my car? <sighs> I peed on it. I'm sorry. It, I know it's immature of me. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I just peed on the bumper, on the back bumper. Okay, okay. Man, I'm not going to... I'm not going to sue or anything, but you you have to know that is extremely...
extremely unacceptable. It is. It's immature. I shouldn't have done that. That's I, that's just no. To okay, be honest, I, it, it wasn't even me. It was the alcohol. It was you know I was drinking a lot that day. Okay, okay. Well, I I mean you don't have insurance, so there's not really anything I can do on it. So I'll just I'll have to see if I need to make a claim. I haven't even looked at the roof yet. You know, there's like three hundred dollars of damage to my drone. Do you have? Uh, would your insurance cover that? Well, that's not that's not my fault that I was parked there and that your drone ran into it. But I think my drone would have been just fine if you weren't parked there. Is the thing. But I was parked there for my job. That that's completely irrelevant. I know, but if if you hadn't been parked there, I think it would have just landed like normal. It wouldn't get gotten caught in your car. And okay, well, I uh, I really don't think that would hold up well in court. But I, like I said, I'm not going to do anything on it because that is. I'm not talking about going to court. I just thought maybe you could be a, a nice person. And and you know ask your insurance company and blame if, blame my car for being parked at my job. Yeah, I mean it's not it's like not, you have to pay for it. Way. It'd be insurance paying for it. I mean I'm not saying you have to. I just thought you know maybe just be a decent human being. Okay, well like I said, I'm not going to make any official claims on it as far as you go because peeing on my car is completely unacceptable. I know, but, but it was the alcohol. I, I'm going to look into. It. I'm going to look into, I'm going to look at the top of it and look in my insurance and see what needs to be done. I mean, if, okay. if I'm going to have to pay money to fix it, like a ridiculous amount of money, then I'll probably call you back because I, that's absolutely crazy. I was just parking at my job. Okay. But I'll, I'll do I, that. Generally. Okay. Generally, just so you know, man, generally I am not the type of person to make a claim on something like this. So I'm not I'm not worried about damage to my car. I honestly don't give a crap, really. I people have hit me before, and I don't say anything because it's not a big deal to me, uh, or at least little things. But if this is a big thing that needs to get repaired, then yeah, I'm gonna have to make a claim on it. And if I'm gonna pay have to pay a, a bunch of money, then yeah, I'll I'll have I'll contact you on it. Oh, but yeah. I, yeah. At yeah, this the, point, don't worry about it. I probably won't because I don't, really don't want to deal with it. Those propellers, they're made out of metal. They actually they cut through the roof a little bit. I don't know if they went through the fabric, but there's actually holes in the roof. I could poke in there and touch the fabric. I could poke my fingers in. Are you kidding me? Mm-mm. So uh, when it rains. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I, I mean, I'll have your number. If, there, if I have to, I'll get a hold of you again. I haven't even looked at it yet. Yeah, you, you've gotten drunk before and peed on a car, though, right? I mean, we've all uh, been there. No, absolutely not. That's not something that I oh, or any, oh, anyone would do. Okay, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm a little bit pissed off at this point, but uh, I'm. I know that people make mistakes. I will try and be as relaxed about it as possible. But again, if I have to, I should be the one that's pissed uh, if, off. If it's you're, gonna you're cause the if, parking there, if it's gonna cause my car to leak, then yeah, I, I have to get it replaced. And just, I'll probably have to pay a deductible on it. You could it. just get some joint compound and, and, you know, put that in there and then paint it black with a Sharpie. Okay. I I can't. I have to go back to work. I can't it's deal with this right now. Same um, thing. I, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I'll, I'll call you back if I need to. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. Bye. Bye, honey, baby. <laughs> I should have told him it was a joke, shouldn't I? Oops. Oh shit. <laughs> Hold on, let me delete this and then and then boy do I have a treat for you guys. <laughs> Guess who just called back? Oh let's see. Okay, delete. Um So I, I can read the message because of the transcription thing. But this looks pretty awesome. Hey Roy, it's Michael. I just now got your voice now. Y'all are assholes, by the way. Um Yeah, I, I'll give you my permission to air the shit on my on the radio. You got me. <laughs> Way to go. But, uh, yeah. Bye. What a nice guy. Did he just really give us permission? That was awesome. Good old Michael. He's gonna be, he's gonna get up at six in the morning tomorrow and listen to, listen to the gerbil station. I think right now is a perfect time to take a break. Go get me some water and stuff yeah that's what we're gonna do so i was listening to the latest episode of the snowplow show 
and uh, the intro song by that new guy. Uh, I've been trying to Google for it, and I cannot find it. It doesn't look like he's posted it anywhere else, and you didn't give a download link. Sorry. Is it going to be available in the PLA Media Pack, or on the phone's page? Probably. Or anywhere? Probably. Because I'd like to download it. I'm assuming he wouldn't care if I put it on phonelosers.org slash songs. So I will probably put it up there soon. I also need to put a link to Reefer Badness's song on SoundCloud. The I Don't Go to the Go Cup Store song. Those are the two songs I really need to put up there ASAP. So I will try to do that soon. I will write myself a post-it and try to get that done soon. So you guys can enjoy that song anytime you want without the dumb sound clips that I inserted into it. Hey Brad, it's me. Um, this might probably be my longest message ever, but I promise I only have important things to say. Okay. Oh my god, a minute and two seconds, you asshole. So, um, no, I was not the guy who... I'm not playing the last two seconds of this message. I don't care what's in it. Emailed that, um, song that I used in the intro for Ding Timber Day One. Um, also... Oh, so you're saying you hated that guy's song. Wow. Um, I want to say freaking, um, Corbin guy, he said the thing where... He was doing the whole for sale sign on cars. And freaking, that reminded me, I actually kind of did that one time. What I did was, I didn't use that um, car markers or anything, but what I did was I took Spray for paint. sale signs because I found all these random um, for sale signs and they were blank. So what I did was I took those and I put them on people's cars and then I put a phone number on there. And then um, me and my friends would sit back and just make jokes at them and really mess with them. It was so much fun. And, um... That... Time's up. It's been one minute. Sorry. Whatever you said there at the end. Hey, Brad, it's me. Okay, so... Oh, what the I hell? Took Come me, on. like, two whole freaking seconds to remember what I was going to say. Okay, so... <laughs> I was saying that I was not the guy who sent you the song that you used in the intro. You already told me that. Email, but I am the guy from the Facebook fan page who posted the pictures of the, um... Of the girl wearing the t-shirt of your face. And I was mean to ask you if I can have permission to actually make those. Hell yeah. Okay, that's all I have to say. Do it. Bye. I dare you to make those. That would be awesome. Sell them. Charge money. I don't care. My face is your face. Hey, Brad. It's Jason. Hey, uh, Jason. I don't make too much of an appearance on the uh, IRC due to internet issues, but I listen to your show all the time. Yeah. I've been doing my homework and uh, putting notes on cars for you and you know, I've uh, put four out in the first two days, and I only got caught once. But luckily, that was just a friend. So maybe uh, I'll just keep doing them every day until maybe I get my ass kicked. Do it. You know what? I think I'm just going to do that. If you get any from the fall and nine or, or uh, northern Ohio area, I'm hoping they call you, but my handwriting's kind of shitty, so maybe they'll just think it's a joke. But hey. Love the show. I think I'm going to start supporting you, but not through Patreon, because I'm just broke at the end Yeah, of fuck, the fuck Patreon. Doing your homework is support enough for me, so I, I really like to hear that people are doing their homework. So thank you very much for that. I do remember getting a couple of Ohio messages in there. I can't remember if I've called them yet or what happened with them, but I'm sure they worked, so thank you. Good job. Hey, Brad. This is Mark from Chicago. Uh, I've been listening to you for a while. You're the best. Uh, oh. I have a uh, thing I want to attempt. I want to try to defeat your uh, Google Voice Translate. Um, let's try to get that sucker to read cactus. So uh, here we go. Cactus. 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 Let me know, buddy. You're the best. Bye. Okay, it did not read a single cactus. I'm going to read you what the translation says. The text says. It says, Texas, comma, Texas, Texas. This is Texas. Tech, tech, just text to pat this. Oh, and then just let me know, buddy. It, it seemed to translate everything else perfectly. And I, I know that Google Voice used to say cactus all the time. And it used to say cactus in the translation thing, but... I know they made some changes recently that everyone says are for the best, and, and it's really improved the hit-miss ratio, or whatever you would call it, 
but it sure broke the cactus thing. It can only recognize Texas now when you say cactus. I should start reporting those to Google and uh, changing them. You know how you can change them? I should start doing that. Hey, Roy, I was driving the other day. Oh, my God. Come on. I was behind one of these trucks that had one of those how's my driving numbers, and I was curious as to if it would just direct me to, like, the store number or whatever. But I called it, and there's literally a, a line uh, of people that answer phones about, uh, you know, how's the truck driver's driving. And you can say basically whatever the fuck you want, and they'll record uh, the license plate or whatever, or you don't even have to get the license plate. But anyways, I think you should call one of those. And, uh, just, I think you would be better at finding ideas. Uh, I actually just called them and told them that, uh, they were driving good, very well. And, uh, apparently they put that in the record that they were driving well. That's nice. Pretty funny. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm sure you could find something better. I'm not a comedian, I'm just a listener, and, uh, yeah, I'm kind of. I'm gonna... Oh, it just ended. What, what do you mean you're not a Canadian? Why, who, who called you a Canadian? Weirdo. So it's a live person that answers those phones? That's kind of interesting. I wonder if I could call that live person and get them to give me information from people who've called in. I could call them back and be like, Hey, motherfucker, this is the truck driver you reported. They gave me your number. I don't appreciate it. That could be amazing. Hi, this is Olga. How are you doing today? Hey, Olga. I just thought I'd call up and say hi. I enjoyed my day out with you, Brad, as it was quite good. Brad and Olga, together. Thank you, Brad. Bye. Thanks, Olga. And thanks for having my show blasting in the background while you leave a voicemail. That makes for good sound quality. This phone was made for pranking, and that's just what I'll do one of these days. Roy Gerbell is gonna prank you. Cactus! Oh wow, it actually shows cactus on the Google text. I'm so impressed. I guess the trick is to just say it with some meaning. You know, put some heart into it and that'll make it translate correctly. Hey Brad, it's Tycoon. Uh, I was actually just had a quick question. I was wondering if you were gonna bring back the, uh, the coin, like the annual coin. You know, I had the 2014 one. And, you know, if you're going to come out with a 2015 one, I'd be really interested in buying it. So, yeah, you should think about it. Thanks. Yeah, I, I really want to. Um, the problem with the coin, and I know you guys think this isn't a problem because I have the Patreon money, but it's a lot of money up front. Like, I have to pay, I, on the last one, I had to pay $600. I think that's what it was, like 600 bucks at least. Maybe it was 650 I don't know, but it's a lot of money to put up front. And I did make it back eventually, you know, slowly throughout the year. But yes, I need to hurry the hell up and do that before 2015 ends. I should have done it this summer and I just never got around to it. But yes, 2015 coins have to happen. I can't remember if we finalized a design on that one. I know I was getting help from people in the forums maybe or somewhere. But yes, 2015 coins. They will happen. I promise. Hey, Carter. What's up, man? This is Mark from Chicago. Hey, uh, Mark. I just ran into you online, dude. Uh, I was listening to the Reply All, and there you were. That's funny as hell. Ah. Uh, that call actually was... Uh, that Kendra was actually Mr. Uh, Mr. Morgan, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. As I heard the dude start I talking, and I, I even remembered the call. This dude was a complete fucking goof. Even... Uh, think that shit was real so there's like full-on proof that people that get these crazy ass calls are dumb enough to actually believe them after the phone call so uh yeah that was awesome man talk to you later texas talk to you later texas that's what it says but your connection was kind of bad so i don't think we can blame that one on google but for the people who don't know what mark's talking about um i i was interviewed for a podcast called reply all and so was mistress morgan and it was all about a uh, phone call that happened to some guy where uh, they pretended, Mr. Smorgan pretended to be with Comcast. 
So they did some Google searching and they found my Comcast prank calls and they contacted me. And I talked to some guy named PJ who does the Reply All podcast, which is a really good show, by the way. I started listening to it before I was interviewed by them so I would know what I was getting myself into. And uh, since then, I've listened to just about every single episode they've done. They're really short episodes, so they're easy to listen to. Here is a short clip from that episode of Reply All. So this is Brad Carter. I don't know where he lives and I'm pretty sure that's not his real name. And that system that Brad uses, Brad could use it for a lot of illegal stuff. But Brad says he's not into that. He's into prank phone calls. He's a prank phone call da Vinci. Brad says that the scam Kendra ran on Chris, that's one of his inventions. I, I don't mean to brag, but I pioneered that years ago, and everyone does it now. What do you mean you pioneered it? <laughs> I think in 2010, maybe. I, I, I think I saw someone complain on Twitter about something, and I thought, oh, I wonder if I can just... Uh, <laughs> find other people that complain and give them a call. And it turned out to be a really easy thing to do. How long have you been prank calling people? If you want to listen to that entire episode of Reply All, I will provide a link in the show notes so that you can listen. It's only a half hour show. I talked to them for an hour and a half. I talked to PJ for an hour and a half. And Mistress Morgan did the same. I think she t- she said she talked for over an hour or something at least. But they managed to compress it down to 30 minutes for the entire thing. So apparently they are even better at editing than I am. The link in the show notes, Reply All. It's a good podcast. Everyone should listen. I guess that's the last voicemail. I know you guys were definitely wanting to hear more of them, but that's the last one that isn't just a hang up or a bunch of noise from a shitty connection. So it is time to get back to the show. There is another hour left of a show, but I'm still going to be doing some editing on it. So it might be a little bit shorter than that. Anyway, here it goes. Here is the rest of today's live show. Uh, Here's one from South Dakota. Oh, it is the Zara from Guadalajara from Reston, and I wish you last about you in the, my truck, man, so this is wondering, man. That's how you come back, man. This is my cell phone. My name is Dago. Okay, thank you. Dago. Wow, that was a horrible connection. This is the first one I've ever gotten from South Dakota, so I hope it's real. Carbon bra says cricket is garbage. Let's see if he's right. Let's see see if that's cricket carrier. I bet it's boost or something. No, it's Verizon Wireless. He just lives in South Dakota, so all the cell phones sound like that. Hello, this is Dago. Hey Dago, it's Roy. I left a note on your truck, on your car, whatever. Your truck, your truck car. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, sorry. So you... What's wrong, man? Oh, I'm just sorry that I, I dinged your car. You're gonna, you left a, a note, man? I, where, where was it, man? I left, I put it on the windshield, like on the windshield wiper. No, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I saw the paper, but are you saying the ding, man, or something? Yeah, yeah, like right where the driver's side window is, because I was trying to to push your window down. I was trying to roll your window down, and I was sticking like a coat hanger in to... Unlock the car. Uh huh. Yep. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's just some scratch marks from the coat hanger, from the wire coat hanger. Uh huh. What do you mean, uh huh? No, I mean I can a little bit. Sorry, man. Uh, can I call you right back, man? I'm gonna a little bit of the lunch time, man. I'm gonna. Whoa, crazy. what? You don't have time for me? I'm just trying to be nice and and leave a note. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the reason my boy, he sent me a, she sent a text to me a couple times that night. Who, who's, and, and who did? What's going on because we didn't know. Oh, who, who's that? Who did that? My boy. Your boy? Can I get his my number? Boy. Yeah. Can I get his phone number? No, 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 no. I can, okay, okay. Let me go outside and check it out right he, now. He's probably not too busy for me. No. Give me one second, man. I'm here right now. Okay. So you did the driver's side, man, right? Yeah, the driver's side. And I, I had a coat hanger sticking through the top of the window. And I was trying to unlock the doors with the coat hanger. From my door, man? Yeah, I was just trying to get it open. Why? Why you want to leave my truck, man? Oh, cause I dropped my, my medication through the window of the car. So I had to break in to get uh-huh. it. <laughs> I dropped my... Why you don't knock the... Why pick. you go inside the restaurant and ask for me? Oh, I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to bother you. But, you know, I just needed my pills. 
and I dropped them in, in the front seat of your car. So I'm here right now, man, and I don't see... Hold on, man. The only thing I got here is the name, a phone number, and that's it, man. Oh, no, I got, the, pi- right now. I got the pills out. I-, I was able to open your your door with the coat hanger. Oh, you did, man. Gee. Yeah, yeah, and, and I got in and I got my pills because I accidentally dropped my pills in through the little crack in the window. Mm-hmm. I dropped them all in there individually, one at a time, so I had to get in there and scoop them out. Okay, man. So yep. you got you got everything. What you need, man? Huh? Well, I, I I think I put a little bit of a scratch on the window with the coat hanger. Mm-hmm. So I just you know just wanted to. Oops, sorry. Uh-huh. Do you want my insurance information? No, you know what? But I don't see anything, man. Oh, thank Whatever. God. Thank yeah. God. I don't even have insurance, so, th- so thank God. Yeah, we too easy. I mean, uh, no big deal. I mean, the next time, because if the police saw, oh, man, things like that, they will be, you know. Oh, if the police you came, know, if of... the police showed up when I was doing that and they tried to give me shit, I'd kick their ass. Yeah, like I say, man, I mean, no big deal with us. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, try to do anything. I'd be like, no, no, I'd be like, whatever. I'd be like, fuck you, copper, and I'd kick him in the balls. <laughs> you was here at the restaurant because that night a group came from Washington, man. Yeah, oh well, yeah, I, I used to live in Washington, but I kept my number. Oh, oh, and you know what? That, that is the reason kind of make me kind of a little confused because uh, a group came that same night. You dropped the the pay, piece of paper, and it was things they did, man. They because were, I talked to a little bit, and, and when they left. And I headed back to my home. I saw the note, and I said, "Oh, I'm pretty sure that those guys from oh no, I I, group, I, I remember did. I remember those guys. They were assholes. Oh, the the guy okay, with man. the jacket. I wanted to kick his ass. Okay, so you got him, man. Okay, well, thank you for for being so understanding. Deal. No, not a problem, man. Okay. Take it easy. Hey, hey, hey! Are you married? Yes. Ah, oh, damn it! I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask you out, see if you wanted to, you know, just yeah, go c- no, come no, over and met. watch a movie with me or something. Yeah. Is is it a solid? Sorry, re- is it a solid relationship? Do I have a chance at all? Oh yeah, man. no, no, no. Oh. We've been there uh, for twenty five years. Oh damn it! Damn it! Sorry about that, man. That's okay. I just I don't know. You're really you're really cute. What are you having for lunch? Can I come over and eat lunch with you? Thank you. Uh oh. No, we have Bixelation, man. Bixelation? Yes. What the hell does that mean? That means we have a lot of food, man. All kinds. Oh, so I can come over? Mexican. Can can you pass your phone to someone else at the table? Maybe the waitress? Four. Uh, Just let me talk to someone else. No man, they busy. Yeah, I'm getting a little, uh, little too much, man. So they're not. Lot, man. They're not that busy. Just put them on the phone. I'm with the corporate office. It's okay. Just okay, you want an order to go? Or what? Oh yeah, put the waitress on the phone. I'm gonna place an order. Okay, I take your order, man. What do you want? I'll put the waitress on. Oh come on, man. Hey, I got your phone, man. So you go get a little more. Uh, we're getting a little bad, man. Okay, what do you want? Your face is a little bad. All right, one rice. Okay, man. You got one, it. one rice. Yes. Adios, gracias. Thank you. One, one beans. One egg. Uh huh. I'd like an egg. egg. One egg. What else? Aren't you going to ask how I want it? What else? Well, you didn't ask. Okay. Uh, one tortilla. Uh-huh. One one salsa. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can I just have the waitress? Come on. You're not even writing it, this down. Yeah, I write it. Rice, beans, uh, eggs, tortilla, salsa. How many, yeah. how many eggs? This is my one. Okay. All right. Come on, what kind of egg? You say an egg, so what kind of the only egg we got here, man? 
Don't be a smart ass or I'll never eat there again. Come on, mate. You, you, you motherfucker. Sure. Uh, one breast milk. Okay, man. You like with me? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> One pizza. Hello. Hello, that person I was just talking to. Yes, how uh, can I help you? Does he work there? Who? The the person that just handed you the phone. Okay, who? Where are you calling from? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm with the corporate office with the restaurant. You are where? I'm sorry. I'm with you are the, what? I'm with the corporate office with your restaurant. Okay. And so how can I help you? I'm calling to let you know that your services are no longer required there and we're letting you go. You're you're basically you're fired. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, I do cuz I'm with the corporate office. So I'm going to have to ask you to turn in your uniform and your name tag and clock out and go home. Where I'm, are you calling from? I'm serious. I'm calling from the corporate office with the restaurant. Okay, give me one second. Who are you going to talk to? Hey, hey stop with the Paris talk. Okay, brother. So I'm going to pass the, the telephone to the policeman. Eh? Have a nice day. Bye. All right, bye. Wow, that was boring. I'm sorry, everyone. That was really, really boring. It's all my fault. Damn South Dakotians. Neon Like Bjork said she said not playing. All of that, all of that she said meant not playing, Neon. Are you sure about that? Hi, Roy. Uh, My name is Melanie, and I found a post-it note on my windshield um, with apologies for dinging my car. Um... I honestly am looking at my car and I don't even see where you dinged it. So um, if you could give me a call back or a text, um, my number is four. Um, and uh, unless I'm missing something egregious, we probably don't have anything to worry about. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs> I don't think she saw the, the hammer dents from my hammer. She must have completely missed that. Hello? Hello, Melanie? Yes? Hey, it's Roy. I I left a note on your car. Yeah, sorry, I have to have you on speakerphone because my phone is broken. It's okay. It sounds really good. where's the ding? I I couldn't even see it. Uh, It's kind of on the top, like on the roof. Like I was parked next to you. Yeah. And and when I got out there, there was a homeless guy on, on my car. On your car? Yeah, like a homeless guy just crawling crawling up on my car and um i i came after him with a hammer and he kind of clawed his way over to your car like over to your roof and i jumped over after him so we were both on top of your car wrestling around and i i was (laughs) well it's i'm sorry sorry, it's funny to you like you know homeless people are gross it's a hobo but (laughs) Do you usually run around with a hammer? Well, I was, I'm on my lunch break from work. So it's on my tool belt. But anyway, I started trying to hit him with the hammer, and he kept he kept dodging out of the way, and I kept hitting the top of your car with the hammer. So there, there's all these dents, or dings, I guess you'd call them. Um, okay, the, the, I, don't, I don't see any. On the top of the roof, like a, a bunch of hammer dings? No. And he got away too. Like I, I only hit him a couple times in the shoulder. He kept dodging out of the way. <laughs> Why are you giggling? I want to start calling you giggles. I'm sorry, but it's just bizarre to me. Um, so I'm on my roof. You're Hold on. on. You're up on top. Just think, like, right where you're sitting, an epic fight took place not too long ago with the homeless man, with the homeless man and a hammer. 
Yeah, I don't see any dings up here. I don't. I don't hit very hard. To be honest, uh, I, I'm more into power tools. You know, using a hammer is kind of my weak spot. But they make me carry one for work. Yeah, I think we're good here. You don't see all the hammer dings because I was like, we were wrestling around on top of your car, rolling around, and and I, I was hitting. He was punching me, and I was hitting him with the hammer. But I kept missing. Can you believe we even have homeless people in this town? Shocking. I know. <laughs> Bullshit. And they shouldn't he shouldn't have been on my car. Oh Lord. What's that noise? Are you climbing off the car? I'm climbing off the car. Yeah. Yeah, we're good here. No worries. Okay, all right. Well, I don't understand what your attitude's about, because, you know, I was just trying to do the right thing and leave my number. Well, good for you. All right. What are you doing, right, what, what are you doing right now? Where are you going? Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what you doing? Where, what, where are you at? Uh, I don't think you need to worry about that. Why not? I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just making conversation. I'm being friendly. Yeah, well, that's okay. You probably need to go back to work now anyway. Well, I think you could at least thank me for getting the homeless man off your car. <laughs> How do you know it wasn't his car? Well, it was it? Are you married to a homeless man? I don't know who it was, so I can't answer that question. Well, he smelled really bad. Does your husband smell really bad? No, I think we're good, but thanks a lot for leaving a note. He had a shopping cart with him on top of your car, and she's gone. That idea was a chat room idea from Ban Franklin. Thanks, Ban Franklin, for that dumb idea. I brightened up her day, at least. (laughs) That's good. That that call just came in, like, uh, you know, just, just 20 minutes ago. I have a couple more here that have come in in the past hour. Hey, Roy, this is uh, Kyle, and uh, you say you left a note on my car, and it says that you get my car. Uh, I'd like to know where that, where that uh, damage is. I don't, I can't see anything that was hit. But uh, give me a call back at 21. Thank you. Yeah, hello? Hey, Kyle, it's Roy. I left a note on your car. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? Where was the uh, damage at? Uh, right happened? around the gas tank. The, the gas tank? Yeah, may, maybe you might have to open it up to kind of see where it is, because I had it opened up. My my gas tank? Yeah, yeah, you know, I just, I had the lid open. Why, why did you have, on the, you had the gas tank open on the car? Yeah, on your car, I had you it open. You in. Huh? Why? I was siphon- why did you, why did you do that? I was siphoning gas out, and the siphoning hose I have it's metal, so it kind of scratched on the side of the car. I didn't mean to like I let it go and it just kind of hit the car roughly and it it you know left some marks. Are you crazy? No, no, it's just i, I you just, were siphoning gas out of my car I, I, and I, then you leave your number I lost my balance and and the siphoning um you know the the hose, the pump thing. It just kind of it fell out of my hands and it hit your car, hit the side of the car. And then you left your number. Yeah, because I, Did I didn't. Think that's stupid. I didn't mean to damage your car. I just a complete accident. I just thought I should do the right thing. What? So you're siphoning fuel. Well, that, that's that's, then, that's not even illegal. So don't try to say that's illegal. Siphoning fuel is not illegal. No, it's not. How is that not illegal? It's just not. It's not in the law books, and there's nothing wrong with it. I didn't. I didn't do anything wrong, except when I accidentally um, I dinged your car while I was doing it. So I'm sorry about that. Oh, okay. yeah, sure. Because yeah, I'm sure cops they would. Oh, okay. Yeah, he can play him for you know he can siphon all the fuel he wants, right? That's how it works. No, and then you leave your number. I I don't know what what that's about. Like, uh, 
Well, there's nothing wrong with siphoning why, fuel. Why you're siphoning fuel and then you leave your number? You realize people can trace numbers, right? I haven't done anything. Wrong. That's what you're supposed to do when you ding someone's car. I left my number. I was doing the right thing. Yeah, but you don't. If if I wanted to, I could report you to the police and then they could trace your number. Well, no, I was going to give you my insurance information anyway. You don't have to trace anything, you you idiot. I don't even see any damage to the fuel, any like any damage at all. All it is is what part of the fuel like opening did you hit? Oh, just kind of right around the lid. Um, you know, maybe those scratches were already there. I don't know. I mean, it's not it's a 2 years old. I mean, maybe you just have I don't know. I don't know why is is are you sure that's what you damaged? Did you change your mind or what? No, no, I really did. And uh, maybe you just have shitty eyes or something, but I can see it. It's plain as day. Oh, oh, I have shitty eyes, and you're the one siphoning fuel, and I have shitty eyes. What's one have to okay. do with the other? What, what is that? What are you trying to say? Is this a prank? No. What kind of prank would this be? That doesn't make sense. Well, I don't know. Some jackass siphons fuel and then leaves his number. So well, don't, don't call me a jackass. Me. It's not even illegal to siphon fuel. You need to learn, check up on your laws. How is that that's stealing? That's stealing something that I purchased. That's, it, how is that not It's illegal? gas, though. It doesn't count. It's federal property. You're just leasing the gas from the gas station. I'm leasing the gas and then burning it and... and okay, sure. That's, that's how it works. Like, read up on federal law, you fucking idiot. Hmm, you're going to tell me a fucking idiot. Well, yeah, then the fucking idiot... I think you're the fucking idiot for siphoning fuel out of my fuel tank and then, you know, leaving your, your number. I only took, like, half out, so you still have plenty. Oh, just half? Okay. You, well, I'm sure the fuel tank's, what, probably 20-some gallon. I mean, a half can be a lot of fuel, so well, I'm stealing a lot. I didn't steal anything. It's it's not your fuel to steal. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's not my fuel, so... Yep. I, it's my car, and it's in my car. So. Well, I don't even want to argue, but if you say there's no damage, whatever, I'm gonna, I don't need to give you my insurance information. Oh, you don't get okay. All righty. Well. Okay. I, mean, I don't see any damage here. But I just want to know what what the hell you left your fucking number, and you say. Oh, you're, you're welcome I for that. Damage your car while I was siphoning fuel. I don't know what the hell. There's an accident. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh, you, you didn't do it on purpose. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, because yeah, that's you, you didn't you didn't siphon fuel on purpose. What did someone tell you to go siphon it? No, I just needed the fuel. I was out. You were out. Okay. Who? Wh- wh- who are you? None of your business. My name's Roy. That's all you need to know, since you don't need my insurance information. Apparently. Roy. Roy. What? I really what, gotta what's go. Your last name. I gotta go. You gotta go. I have things After to do. Siphon. So what if I call the cops then? Well, go ahead. It's not illegal. Ask them. It's not illegal. No, ask so them. So if, if, if I call the sheriff's station and I say, this guy left his number, he siphoned fuel, he said he siphoned fuel, and they say, oh, well, that's, that's not illegal. Yeah, that's... They're going to exa- say it's illegal. No, that's you exactly what they'll in say. a lot of trouble for that. A lot of trouble. You can get in a lot of trouble for I siphoning cannot. fuel. Siphoning gas is what you not say. illegal. It's illegal. I bought the fuel. Okay, and you don't just leave your fucking number because now I can have it traced. Let me guess, you're not okay. a lawyer. No, I, I'm i not a lawyer, well, but apparently, you know, I, apparently I know not. some cops. I can call the cops, they can come to your house, and I don't know what kind of fines or what, but you are going to get in trouble. Oh, no, I'm not. And I don't think that a couple gallons of gas is worth, you know, fines or jail time. Okay. So I don't know what the hell is your well, problem. Well, I'll come clean with you, though. Oh, okay, okay, I'm going to come clean with you. I didn't touch your car. I just but left... You didn't touch my car. No, I just left the note as a prank. I just... And he hung right up. He hung up mid-sentence. That was weird. Why did he do that? Everyone in the chat room is saying this guy is just trolling me, and, and it's fake. It's just some listener. But it's coming from an area where I've gotten other calls from, so I don't think it's fake. Maybe it's fake. You think he could have shouted cactus cactus or something near the end? Hi, this message is for Roy. You left a note on my car saying that you dinged it. Um, if you can call me back at this number at 719 Thank you so much. This will be the last call today. 
Hello. Hey, this is Roy. I left a note on your car yesterday. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, I, I don't know. Sorry about that, about, about the whole... No, that's okay. No, that's okay. Um, what were you thinking about doing? Um, well, did you see the damage? Did it look that bad? Um, it, it, you did leave a big white mark on my car. Um, so it's just, um, I mean, it just looks I like... I got excited. Like that's okay. It happens. I mean, I, I appreciate... Happens to all men. On my car. Huh? I was talking about the scratches around the gas tank, though. Is that the one you're talking about? I didn't think it was a white mark. Oh, I just saw the one in the middle of my door. Oh, uh, I wasn't around the door. Oh, then no, no big deal, then, Roy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> thank you so, but, but, but thank you so much for leaving a note on my car. Okay. But did you see the the scratches around the gas tank? Because I had your gas tank uh, open. That's okay. It's all right. I, like I, I think they were there already. To be honest with you, I didn't notice. I got gas this morning, and I didn't notice any scratches. So I just noticed the big scratch, like in the middle of my door. And, but that's not from you, so it's okay. Did Did I siphon uh, too much gas? Like, did you have to get more gas? No, no. It's okay. No, it's fine. Okay. It's okay. Did, did no you... worries. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. For whatever. Back. Bye. <laughs> big jerk. And she hung up. All right. By the way, that was Elkie's idea, the siphoning gas from their car and the hose ding the car. Thanks, Elkie, for that idea. But God, that girl, I just want to hit her. Usually I don't hit girls, but that one, I would hit her all the time. I really want one more call to work out before I quit the show for the day. Hi, Roy. This is Christy. Um, you left a message on my car. You can call me back at... 711. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Christy. Hello? Hi, Christy. Yeah, who's this? It's Roy. I left a note in your car. Uh huh. And yeah, I just wanted to apologize. Oh, you're the one that did the dent on it. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say it's a dent. It's more just like a scuff. How how did that happen? Uh, It's when I was leaving the note on the car. I, I just kind of scuffed. Uh-huh. I scuffed the window as I left the note on the car. No, there's a there's damage to the right side of the car. Why would you? Why would the window be scuffed while you're leaving a note? I, I have really long fingernails, and just as I was leaving the note, my fingernails just kind of scratched the window, and I think it might be permanent. I actually oh. I broke a nail when I was leaving that note. Oh. Yeah, so that's all but it is. But there's it's also just... damage on the right side of the car. Oh, no, I was only on the driver's side. I wasn't even driving. Why I don't... would you be leaving? Now, I'm confused, though. Why would you leave a note on my car? To tell you about the damage to the window. Okay, there, it says ding on the note, and well, there's a ding on the right side of the car. No, the ding's on the window. As I was leaving the, the note, I my fingernail kind of just... it just kind of cut deep into the glass and I think it I don't know if that's going to come out do you see where I'm talking about no I see a dent on the right side of my car no, I wasn't on the right side I don't even own a car so I wouldn't be able to dent it um, I, I was just while I was leaving that note it put it but d- why would you leave see this doesn't make sense you said while I was leaving a note I scratched your window Oh, yeah. Why were you leaving a note in the first place then? To let you know about the ding on the window, the scratch, or whatever you call it. It's just let, letting you know. Okay. Doesn't make any sense to me why. Well, why wouldn't I leave a note? That's because right when thing. I come back and I look at the car, it's got a nice scratch and dent on the right side. No, no, I didn't so, touch the right side. and I don't have a car. I was just walking. I was just walking by, and when I left the note, I left a scratch on the window. So when you left the note, you left a scratch on the window. See, that doesn't make sense to me. What doesn't make sense? It's the right thing to do. No, no you're, you just said it again. While I was leaving a note, I scratched your window. I know. That's what happened. So why were you leaving a note in the first place? You said when I left the note... Yeah, you're not making any sense here. When I left, when I scratched the window, so I'm leaving a note. Yeah, you scratched your window while you were leaving a note. Why were you leaving a note? Why were you even touching my car? To tell you about the scratch. You know? 
I'm going to have my husband call you, and then you can speak to him about okay, it. Okay, maybe maybe he car. maybe he can understand basic things like you can't. It's, but you know, you I'm don't just, need to get rude on me. Here. Okay, well, I just don't see what the problem is. Why don't you understand? So, what would you like me to send you a bill, or I guess I don't know. I can give you my insurance information if that's what you need. If you think it's bad okay, enough for that, um, I'll have my husband call you if you don't mind. Okay. And then you can just go that route because oh, okay. I don't need you to disrespect me. All right, honey. Okay? All right, honey. You do wow. that. Wow. Okay. You do that. Have, have okay. the husband do the, the heavy work. Okay. <laughs> that genius idea was from Dust Bernadette. Not, <laughs> I'm definitely going to try that one some more because that was a lot of fun. I, I, I can see someone just completely losing their mind over that one. So I absolutely have to do that again. But not today, because today the show is over. Thank you everyone for listening, and thanks for all of the chat room members who left ideas for me to steal. And thank you to the people from the comments on the last show who left ideas for me to steal. I think those ideas were mostly from Ben and Bogey B. I don't remember which of yours I used, if any, but thanks. I, I am they're in my list. And I will use them eventually, before Ding Timber is over. We're going to end today's show with a song called Shine Avenue by Emergency Pizza Party. Kitty should be stuck with cuteness Hot and Chinese food for lunch Mother's mine